This is a Lusto 0063 plea for help. As you can see from the top, the game is I want to kill the Camellia 2. Uh, don't trust either the death counter or the time counter at the top. I can assure you that uh, I've spent at least twice as long and accumulated four times as many deaths as what's showing up there. I think it's got something to do with um, it going screwy when I transferred save files from uh, my computer to my laptop. Yeah, I had to do that since uh, so my computer didn't like uh, a lot of some of the bosses when there was too much happening on screen. So uh, that's particularly irritating when you get through all the way through the stage five boss and it crashes on its final phase. Gee whiz! But anyway, uh, yeah. Let me let me probably just uh, no, actually my my question I suppose is or yeah, indeed my plea for help is essentially how the hell do you pull off the final jump maneuver of this section? Um, if I play the game a little bit and I kind of uh, somewhat demonstrate what I'm trying to do, I, uh, I've muted the game because uh, you're going to hear, um, or you would have heard, um, the death of um, over and over and over again of landing on spikes because it's a little bit of a chore to actually get to the jump in the first place. But um, hopefully when uh, when I get there I can at least hopefully pull off a few, a few attempts at the manoeuvre so you can kind of see what I'm getting at here. Um, yeah, I have beat a, a bit of background. I have beaten the original game. I want to kill the Camellia, um, which was really quite difficult. Um, the concept is it basically takes a whole bunch of screens from uh, other I want to be the games, um, puts them one after the other, and uh, you know, well, as in any normal kind of game of this fashion, you have to you, know, you just make it through the screens, etc. As you go, um, the screens get progressively harder um, to get through as the game progresses, as uh, one would naturally expect. Um, but yeah, the original was uh, was uh, beatable. I th it was a lot of fun. Um, this game, on, or the uh, the sequel, uh, takes it to a whole different uh, ballpark. Um, I was actually going to record a video um, two screens ago. This is actually, uh, I believe, stay, uh, screen eight of stage six. I think, but I was actually going to record a, uh, a help or you know, a, a plea for help video on uh, two screens ago. Um, on I think it's a, I want to break through the seven trials room. There's a, a jump in there which um, you have to kind of pull off over an inverted V um, set of spikes. So they kind of go up in a, up in, up, you know, up in a V shape and then and obviously um, down on the other side of the V shape. Um, but I was I was um, attempting to pull off a jump that basically it t took me. Th you know, I was played it for about three hours, and I had not pulled it off once. Basically, the the gimmick to that one is that the the top spike of the V um, is very, 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 very slightly offset to the right. That means that you can land on the very left hand edge of the platform. Um, it's pretty pixel perfect, but uh, you can get the kid to land right on the edge, left hand edge of the platform, and then continue your jump. Uh, down the other side of the, v, of the uh, inverted V uh, from there. There's no way you can make the jump in one go. Um, but I say I was, I was trying this bloody jump for about three hours, and I'd not, I'd not, I, you know, I'd about maybe at least probably a thousand attempts at trying to land this jump, and I hadn't got it, hadn't got it working once. Um, I just couldn't understand why. So I looked at a few uh, YouTube uh, YouTube videos, and um, funnily enough, I don't think it was actually referring to that particular uh, part of the uh, you know, uh, screen or whatever. It might have been someone had cleared another room, possibly even this one. Um, but I'd seen, I'd seen a comment about something referring to, I think, pixel strings or something. Well, I don't know exactly what that is, but I assume it's got some. It had something to do with the fact, possibly for this one, this jump again, that. In actually, in order to make the in order to make the jump, or indeed, in my case, for that, uh, I want to break through the seven trials screen, the landing, it was somewhat dependent on where the kid was positioned when you took off for the jump in order to, in order to land it. So, what seemingly happened on um, on a few people's successful runs was that they had um, they'd run up against the left hand wall before trying to make the jump. Um, and I wasn't sure why on earth they did this, but sure enough, I, tr I tried it. I ran up against, like a bit of what I'm doing here now, running up against the left hand side of the edge of a, edge of a, edge of a block. Um, and then maybe after about a minute of, of trying to land the jump, I got it. So I spent about three hours worth of time and a thousand attempts trying to, put, trying to land the jump, and I hadn't got it once. But I ran up against the left hand wall, and then within about a minute, I'd, uh, I'd made the jump. So. It seemed to me that obviously there was something in this that it was at, it, that somehow it was dependent on where the kid was uh, kid was standing. 
um, in your, you know, for the success of this jump to be, uh, well, you know, to, to impact on whether or not you made this jump. And I just, I didn't really kind of fully understand it. But I've got a sneaky suspicion that the sim a similar thing is happening here. Um, I'll give this maybe, in fact, after, in fact uh, I'm, well, since I've just died there, I know it's not my recording's going to go over, over above five, six minutes, so uh, I'll just cut there and uh, pick this up in just a second. So yeah, as I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted by my uh, stupid recording software uh, failing to work. Um, yeah, they, this jump, I, so I spent at least maybe two hours, if not more, on it. I don't know how many I don't know how many attempts I've uh, I've had at trying to trying to pull off the jump. Um, it's not necessarily the easiest jump in the world to get to either, because I keep dying at the moment anyway, dying over and over and over trying to get to it. Um, but. I s there are times, I swear, where I have pretty much... I mean, that was a decent enough jump there. I don't know whether, um, actually, my attempt, my performance here has been all that good. Um, it doesn't f certainly doesn't feel like it. Um, I must say, I'm experiencing a bit of lag, so uh, this is why I'm actually doing rather terribly at the moment, because I'm having a very, a very hard time uh, trying to judge the speed and, all, and the... And the uh, and the jumps, um, but anyway, um, hopefully you're getting somewhat the point of what's going on. Um, but yeah, I swear there are times where it looks like I have absolutely nailed the uh, the manoeuvre here to get to, to get round up the top. I mean, basically, I'm hitting my head on the uh, on the the, uh, the block, and then and then with a double jump, obviously not too soon after hitting my head, otherwise I'll double jump into the into the block again. But um, yeah, obviously something along the lines of what I'm of what I'm doing here. But I don't say these these those last two goes not so much because it did because uh, I was well off the uh, looked like I was well off the height. But there are, seem to be times I swear where I you know ordinarily would have made that jump, but for whatever reason um, the kid just doesn't quite want to land it. Um, so again, apologies for my um, attempts not really getting there very much. I don't know what the lag is going on here, but it's really screwing. What? On? It's it's really kind of screwing up my attempts here. Um, but hopefully you're getting the point anyway. Um, but yeah, basically I suppose my question is: Is this jump really this asinine, or is there is there anyone who can offer any advice or a tip or anything? In terms of trying to get through it, because if it's if it is to do with where the kid needs to stand, where he needs to position, I mean, do I need to bang my head against the ceiling here in order to reset the kid? You know, I I I, I seem to seemingly managed to find a way of getting through the break through the seven trials uh, jump. This one, not so much. I just I cannot land on top of this block up here. Um, it doesn't seem to matter what I try, whether I run up against the wall, whether I try and uh, uh, jump through, jump through this uh, little first area without without hitting, without without touching the wall, uh, you know. Or it's, I've I've tried running back to the right. When, when I can, if I can finally demonstrate, I've now tried running to the right here to try and somehow reset it. I've tried, as I say, double jumping and hitting my head on this thing on the ceiling there. I cannot find any kind of a way, if it is something to do with just the positioning of the pixels, which quite frankly seems a rather ludicrous way of trying to get through a game. This is hard enough without needing to, some, to you know, somehow position yourself so that you're in the right pixel of the screen in order to make a successful jump. But oh, my the lag here is just really hindering, hindering what, I'm able to, what I'm able to show off, but hopefully you are getting, are getting the point of what I'm trying to get across here. But yeah, is there anything that anyone, any advice that anyone can offer in terms of, a f not, I won't say a foolproof, because I don't think anything's particular. I don't think anything in I want to be the game, let alone I want this this screen, this game, or even this jump is foolproof. But is there any trick or tip that anyone can offer as to trying to somehow ensure that I can pull off this jump? I mean, I've obviously realised that I've got to pull off a pretty good jump anyway. Some of these, like that one, for instance, wouldn't have made it anyway, but. As I say, I swear, sometimes, like a little bit like that one. And I'm not saying that was absolutely perfect, but it was certainly better than the, the previous attempts that I had. Um, it looks like, you know, give me enough time, and I and I should be able to pull, and I should be able to pull this off. But I've been trying this for the, you know, the best part of hours. I don't know how many um, actual attempts I've um, had to try and uh, to try and uh, get it, but um, it's a lot, and. Um, a bit like, unlike the uh, um, 
the I want to break the seven trials screen. I could maybe you know I can't really accept that if I was if I was trying to land that one jump, you know after 500 odd attempts I can't even get to the jump sorting jump now whatsoever. But if I was trying to land that jump you know 500 times or whatever, and cause it's a reasonably small area that I've got to try and land on that little tiny left hand edge of the spike, uh, to the sort of spike on that other screen. But to not land it once in like you know 500 600 attempts is just stupid. At this point, I'm not going to show any more footage because the uh, lag on this is just absolutely pathetic. But um, and it's just preventing me from getting anywhere near the bloody thing, uh, near the bloody jump at all now. But yeah, is, is there any trick or tip to this? Otherwise, I could well be done with this. Which is unfortunate because I've got a long way through and I don't really want to quit. But and as it stands at the moment, I just can't see myself doing this sodding jump. So yeah, if anyone can help, offer any advice, whether it a bit of uh, comment or I hesitate to say video response or anything, but yeah, anything, any anything that anyone can offer any advice on, would be much appreciated because I freaking hate this jump. Thank you. One rather pissed off Musto zero zero six three out.